When I started telling this story, it was about how my dad played for the Harlem Globetrotters for 18 years. But I found I couldn't tell his story without telling my own. I couldn't tell my own story without telling my family's. People might not believe, but people can fall in love with first sight. It was in the 60s. It was taboo for blacks and white. When we saw each other, we had to go in and out of the hotel separately. That's just the way it was. The first time I remember meeting my dad, I was eight years old. He came up to Vancouver from Chicago to visit my mom and I. You had met him briefly when you were eight, and you longed for your father, longing to be acknowledged, longing to have a father. I don't care how low you get, uh, what you did, you can change. It was me who had anger. It was me who had jealousy. Nobody else could change me but me. I, I knew I'd never turn out to be the kind of ball player daddy was, but I knew that I could be that kind of person and I could contribute to my community in that kind of way. You got to give something back because somebody gave something for you to be here. <laughs> 